is the ever busy Rumaholo Street in Rumokoro axis of Port Harcourt City, where most residents frequent. From here and to other parts of the city, it's been an avalanche of knocks for the proposed increase in electricity tariff, which is said to begin June the 1st. The president and the leadership of this new government should look into whatever is happening now to bring down price and minimize costs for Nigeria so Nigeria can be happy. They are supposed to have even subsidized electricity, knowing that a lot of people depend on this because we don't have constant electricity. Not everybody in this particular that can even feel talk more of paying electricity bill. Look at outside countries where Nigeria give light. We don't before they take their light over there, they will announce and they will tell them when the light will be back. But Nigeria here, we are not seeing such a thing. Some civil society organizations in River State are already threatening to embark on protests if the price hike is implemented. If they dare to increase electricity by 40%, we are going to mobilize all our affiliates to occupy their offices and demand that they should pack and go. In clear terms. Their leader, has also challenged the federal government to explore alternative sources of power generation. We would want to say that the federal government should invest in the energy sector. There are renewable energies, there are other sources of energy. This idea of total dependence on the national grid and this central control of electricity, the energy sector, cannot work. The federal government should invest in solar, should invest in other forms of electricity generation. For these professionals, they want all parties in the electricity value chain to have a rethink considering the hardship already been experienced by Nigerians over the recent fierce subsidy removal. I don't think it is a good time to do this. I am afraid when the people have been pushed to war, they may turn back. Let us avoid getting to that. I don't think it's a good time now. You have not talked of improving the services. They are talking of uh, increasing the electricity tariff. Now, their argument is this, but that argument is lopsided. That if they don't increase the tariffs, more people will not be willing to invest. But I know Nigeria for what it is. The moment you increase the tariffs, more people will come in. They are not investing anything. More people will come in to rip off the people. The residents also want the federal government and the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission to ensure an appreciable improvement in electricity generation, transmission, and distribution to ensure adequate and reliable electricity supply rather than contemplate an increase in tariff on a mere 4,000 megawatts. From Port Harcourt, the River State Capital, Andy Omano, Omano, Arise News.